I just thought I was getting up there, you know, being funny and being silly. I didn't know the impact of how humor could actually help my life. It wasn't really until I got associated with ASAP. I mean, being able to talk about things that maybe I wouldn't sit across from somebody and talk about. It's kind of like an AA meeting, you know. Um, you go there and you talk about things to help get things that are inside of you out so they don't have power over you. So I can use humor as a way to say, okay, I'm dealing with some stuff. I can write a joke about it. I can laugh about it. But I'm actually, it's kind of um, misdirection because I'm actually therapy. I'm telling you what I'm going through, but I'm just trying to laugh about it. Being able to see how ASAP has evolved from you know, the infant stages to where it is now, I mean, it's like night and day. And, you know, being a part of that is even is even better. It has evolved from being more just about not comedy, um, about relationships and, and building um, tribes um, and having that connection between individuals who are still some associated with the military, most of them are veterans, and that civilian side. And um, for me is to see the transition of the, um, the participants that come into class from day one, like, okay, I'm, it's about comedy, and then seeing them leave with some um, business skills, public speaking, confidence, and things like that to say, hey, I can I can do this and, and see the benefits in their families and their lives. It's, it's very um, it's very rewarding. I do a lot of work with AA and NA um, and the veteran population during the pandemic. Can, you know, a lot of those individuals can relapse um, because of the fact they're isolated. Isolation for individuals who are dealing with addictions is very difficult. Um, and then a lot of them don't have the resources um, like a computer or laptop or internet services that can kind of reach out to and get some of the classes that ASAP has or other um, organizations that are trying to do things like you know, work out online. Um, sometimes they're left to their own devices and that can be very gravely because they feel like I can't get out and get around people. So I'm gonna isolate, I'm gonna go into my little closet. Okay, I'll have a little drink here, I'll do this there. And then it could just spiral out of control. My vision for ASAP is that I would like to see ASAP in every VA hospital within the country. Um, I think we have an opportunity where veterans are coming in there for service. If we can get to the VA hospitals with some of those individuals dealing with addictions, um, the veterans that's dealing with addictions, because I think they need um, some type of alternative coping mechanism to kind of help them. And I think they have a lot of creativity is just put in the wrong place. Um, and they're using you know, a particular drug, whether it's sex, alcohol, or whatever, narcotics, to kind of cope. And I only say that because when I go into those uh, infirmaries and see those individuals, and when they're laughing, you know, every night like, clockwork, man, let me tell you a joke. Let me, let me, let me do this. You know, I could do this, I could do that. And I think they just want to have something to feel connected to. Um, and I think I would like to see them take some of the classes.